What happens if during opening argument, I fail to make out a prima facie case? You wanna know what that is and why it's so important? Come join me for a moment as I share with you some great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney. Okay, you sued your doctor, and now you claim that the doctor was careless and caused you significant harm and injury. And the doctor turns around and disputes every single one of your allegations. And he says, I'll see you at trial. So now, two or three years down the road, your case finally comes up for trial. And we're now at trial, and the judge has given the jury preliminary instructions on what to expect during your trial. And then he turns to me and says, Mr. Oginski, you may make your opening arguments. So I get up and I start telling the jury a story. And now, at the very end of my opening arguments, the defense lawyer jumps up out of his seat as if someone had pressed an ejection button and says, Your Honor, I move to dismiss Mr. Oginski's client's case. Why? Because they failed to make out a prima facie case on opening argument. And now the judge evaluates and is trying to decide whether or not what he's saying is true. If he says, yes, you're absolutely right, case dismissed, now, what has happened? Now, before any testimony has taken place, before any witnesses have testified, before any evidence is presented, the judge has dismissed our case. So what just happened? And what is this all about? All right, let me tell you. During opening arguments, it is our opportunity, it's my opportunity, to go ahead and explain to the jury what we believe was done wrong, to explain why we're here and why we believe that you are entitled to a verdict in your favor. It's my very first opportunity to tell the jury what this case really is about and to give them facts, to give them details of your particular claim. During jury selection, we can tell the jury as we're trying to decide which jurors are right for this case, that yes, this is a claim involving medical negligence, medical malpractice, but we can't get into the details of this case because this is not the courtroom. But shortly, we're going to be in the courtroom and then you're going to hear all the testimony, all the evidence about what occurred. So now, if I do not present the three elements needed in order to make out what's called a prima facie case, then the defense lawyer would be well within his right to jump up and object and ask that our case be dismissed. And the judge would actually be correct to go ahead and dismiss our case because we have not made out our claim that we are entitled to a verdict or at least entitled to proceed forward past opening arguments. So what exactly is this prima facie case thing? It's the three requirements that we have to lay out, alleging or claiming that we're entitled to a verdict. And what are they? Liability, damages, and causation. We have to set forth facts showing that the doctor was careless, that he violated the basic standards of medical care. We call that liability. Who is liable for the incident that occurred? We also have to be able to lay out facts to establish that that wrongdoing those departures, those violations from the standard of care was a cause of your injury. That's the second element that we have to show. And now the third, the third, we have to connect those first two together to show that the doctor's carelessness was a cause of your injury and that your injury is significant and or permanent. And now if the defense attorney makes that objection, asking for the case to be thrown out, the judge would be well within his right to say, no, counselor, this case is proceeding forward. Now it's your opportunity to make opening arguments and we will take testimony in this case. If we don't, if I don't lay out liability, causation, or damages, or leave out any one of those aspects, the judge likely will go ahead and dismiss the case. So why do I share this quick information with you? I share this with you because when you bring a lawsuit, seeking money as a form of compensation for all the harms and losses and damages that you incurred. Most people believe that, hey, if the case goes all the way to trial, now it's simply a matter of the jury listening to the testimony and deciding on whether or not you are more likely right than wrong and giving you a verdict in your favor. Well, you should know something, and this is something that a lot of attorneys don't talk about. The defense is going to do everything they possibly can within the law to create obstacles for you to ever get to the jury and there will be many instances where that will occur and will frustrate the heck out of you. So I want you to be prepared for it because that will happen. You know, I realize you're watching this video because you wanted to see the beautiful scenery. No, I realize you're watching this video because you had questions about your own matter. Well, if you are considering bringing a lawsuit but have not done so yet and your matter happened in New York, then what I invite you to do, if you still have questions, pick up the phone and call me. You know, I answer questions like yours every single day and I'd love to talk to you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at 
oginski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Terry Oginski. Have a wonderful day.